fight commentary breakdowns here. Epic Kung Fu Clash. We have Silala Wing Chun versus Angry Teddy Southern Shaolin Kung Fu. Now, Angry Teddy also does Muay Thai. And, ooh, great leg kick. Silala also does Xing Yi Quan. Xing Yi Liu He. So it's different from Xing Yi. It's not Xing Yi. It's Xing Yi Liu He. So I just wanted to mention that since we're mentioning that Angry Teddy does Muay Thai in addition to Southern Kung Fu, Southern Shaolin. So exchanging kicks. Wow, Angry Teddy <laughs> going to the face. They're both having fun. From my understanding, they both know each other pretty well. They've fought back in 2016, so this is their second time, I believe. Whoa, Chilala going towards the face. Now he is going to the body with the kick. He slipped that punch. That was pretty good. Um, he dodged that kick. Angry Teddy's taller. Woo! Body kick. And so... Silala in this round, because Angry Teddy is much more of a range kind of guy, so I think Silala is going to have a little trouble using his Wing Chun, so he's going to use more of his Xing Yi Liu He. So um, his, his Shifu, his teacher for Xing Yi Liu He, some guy called Lao Na, that's what he calls him. Great spin kick. Silala likes to throw the spin kick a lot. These two are both having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> Angry Teddy had to brush his hair to the side like a K-pop star. I told Angry Teddy he looks like Korean Superboy. And Angry Teddy thought I said Korean Zombie. And Angry Teddy got mad at me. He got angry. Oh, see what I did there? But um, once I explained to him it was Korean Superboy, not Korean Zombie. He's like, oh, okay. Um, a bunch of punches getting ducked that Chilala threw against Angry Teddy. So Chilala fainting a little. But not able to connect. Um, credit goes to Chilala. Whenever you're fighting someone way taller, it's difficult, man. It's way difficult. Um, ooh. Trading roundhouse kicks to the leg. <laughs> Angry Tate's like, try it again. Oof. It's a good body kick. So, um, Angry Teddy is... Um, sometimes kind of brushing at Chilala's lead hand, which is good. You know, you can almost call it a trap. But he's just, he's just, um, using his jab hand to kind of, um, get the distance, so to speak. Chilala's, um, stances are very unorthodox. He's definitely using a lot of Kung Fu. It's interesting that when he's fighting a fellow Kung Fu guy, he's like, okay, I'm more comfortable just using Kung Fu, right? It's kind of like when Jiu-Jitsu guys... If they're going against each other, they're going to be more comfortable testing out certain jujitsu only kind of techniques, right? Whereas if they're fighting more hybrid or MMA people, they're probably not going to try some, I don't know, um, crackhead control or something like that. And, uh, that's a 10th planet technique. I don't know why I said that. but um, Anyways, there's some uh, replays. And I think this round was very even. I don't think there was any real kind of 10-9 that I could see. Um, if I had to give it, I might give it to Angry Teddy. It's a it's a slight 10-9 for Angry Teddy. And uh, look at that, a little talk, trying to show the the replay, trying to show Tzilala's cool stances, cool movements. So, again, um, like I said, in this round, in this fight, is going to use more Xing Yi Liu He because... Oh, now that was much more Wing Chun. He tried. He tried some Wing Chun trapping. Wow. It's so funny that I will say, um, even though Chilala is using much more Kung Fu, Angry Teddy is using much less Kung Fu in this. Oh, okay. That was an attempt at Kung Fu and he paid for it. He just paid for it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Chilala is like, I'm not going to take you on the ground. Oh, that was kind of, that was like unintentionally comedic. That was funny. So... Chilala going in with punches. Um, Angry Teddy. Ooh, Angry Teddy using some uh, Muay Thai plum. Angry Teddy again brushing his hair. Oh, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't speeding this up. Definitely not sped up. Um, if I were Angry Teddy, I'd keep trying to kick at the face and then like switch it around, kick at the body. Exactly. Um, Chilala and Angry Teddy both exchanging um, side kicks. Angry Teddy doing a little bit of a run. Uh... Ooh, Chilala checked that kick, but he, he almost got caught transitioning his uh, stances. 
<laughs> Angry Teddy doing the Israel on his own. <laughs> oh, this is very entertaining. Wow. Um. <laughs> so, oh, Chilala blitzing in. What I like about Chilala is despite being 37, he's very explosive. Great. He's very good at sweeps, man. So let's see if they're going to fight for the underhooks. Nobody's fighting for the underhooks. Woo! Uh, that's what happens, Chilala. Um, if you had the underhook, he probably wouldn't have gotten tossed like that. But now Chilala's throwing him back. Oh, 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 this is the most entertaining kung fu fight ever. Wow. Um, this is going to be stood up. Yep, no submissions. So... Um, I believe this is Angry Teddy's swan song fight. Um, he's retiring after this. So retire young, I think. I could be wrong. Angry Teddy, if I'm wrong, let us know. But I remember seeing on Facebook that Angry Teddy's retiring after this. So, just kind of... Oof! Great kick by Tilala. Great combos, man. It's all about the combos. Tilala's punches are a little bit more kung fu. Um, and nothing wrong or... Not wrong about that. Just the style. Just the preference. If it works for you, it works for you. So, again, Angry Teddy just much taller. Chilala, ooh, trying to throw, but now he's on top. Um, Angry Teddy's on top. Chilala maybe attempting a sweep or just, I mean, it's 10 seconds. You could probably take the barrage. That was the end of the round. So, unfortunately, I think the second round... I will have to give it to um, Angry Teddy also. Um, Chilala landed some good strikes, but um, Angry Teddy, I think, had two times where he was on top when they when they landed. Actually, I'm not sure. The, Chilala might have been on top that one time. So, yeah, this was the throw we saw. So... So, but then Chilala, I'm pretty sure, reversed it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So Chilala reversed it, um, and then got him down. So, yeah, so from these highlights, it looks like this might have been a 10-9 round for Chilala. So it could be. I don't know. If if it was, um, if the, the two, um... The two takedowns were one each. Then I guess it's a 10-9 Chilala. I thought it was two takedowns that Angry Teddy got, but I was wrong. So this third round, it, it could be tied right now. So the two of them have to figure out who's won this. Oh, look at that. They are just having fun. No. Look at that. There's a, there's a little kung fu posturing going on. Look at that. <laughs> Both using distractions. Like, hand speed. Woo, look at that. Oh, uh, Chilala with his unorthodox stance. Oh, okay. Spinning elbows. Uh, Angry Teddy's like, I'm not afraid. Oh, Chilala almost caught that on the neck, man. You gotta be careful. Just because you kind of blocked it, not even really blocked it, doesn't mean you should be cocky about that. Oof, nice. Chilala also had did the wet cup, cupping on his back, if you notice. Trying to go over um, Angry Teddy's arms. So, the announcer says Chilala is using a lot of Xing Yi Liu He Quan right now. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to try to identify the style. But, Chilala always putting his hand out. Oh, I love it. Lully, he's doing the Yol Romero, right? You lull the opponent into kind of a little bit of a, um, um, what is it called? Like a daze or something? And you get him. Angry Teddy, um, kicks to the head a lot. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, that was, wow, that was a highlight real moment of strikes, like, <laughs> punches. Silala, that was awesome. Wow. So... They're both kind of tired now. You can tell their um, cardio has gone down a little. But it's okay. Chilala always kind of um, moving sideways with. Um, notice, look at their foot position. Um, oh, that was great. Chilala kind of just blocked that. 
I know Chilala pays attention to where the their the footwork a lot. It's something he trains kung fu a lot in. So compared to other kung fu guys, I think Chilala really cares about his footwork. Um, and that was an interesting jab. Not a fan of that jab because he left his face open. But oh, trading leg kicks again. Chilala kind of, I will say, he kind of um telegraphs his roundhouse kicks a little through his head movement. Like you can tell because he's ready to twerk a little. So if I were Chilala, I would work on not telegraphing my roundhouse kicks with my arms. Oh, Chilala jammed Angry Teddy's roundhouse kick and just going in. Wow, okay. That round might have been too close to call, so this is probably the most deserved. They need an OT round, an extra overtime round. So we're going to see some highlights. Chilala with this uh, footwork that... Very likely comes from Xing Yi Liu He Chue. And then um, we'll see Angry Teddy with his leg kicks. Yeah. That definitely hurt Chilala. Attempt at um, spinning back fist. That did not hit. Look at look at Chilala. <laughs> oh, that was the highlight reel. That was um, that was Chilala just, just swinging wild. And Angry Teddy had to use Muay Thai plum to get out of that barrage. Um, that was Chilala framing and blocking um, his, um, you can always call it a destruction, but it's not really a destruction, more like a jam. He jammed um, Angry Teddy's spinning back fist. So this is Victor, that guy Victor. He's the organizer of this event, King of Dragons. So um, these are what some of these MMA moves are called. Shan Xing. So th that's a mount. Shan literally means mountain. That's pretty funny. Shi zi, like 10. That's that's what an arm bar is. Um, San jiao su, triangle. San jiao means triangle. So this is pretty cool. Um, shi zi, see? Shi zi gu. Shi zi gu, like um, uh, uh, a number 10 frame, if that makes sense. Because 10 in Chinese looks like a cross. So, in fact, a cross in Chinese is called a shi zi jia. So... Um, right now, one side ruled it for Angry Teddy, one side ruled it a draw, and another side ruled it a draw. So, I guess it's majority draw, which means they will fight another round. I think it's called majority draw, right? Guys, if I didn't name it right, the decision, let me know. I'm pretty sure this is called majority draw. So, with majority draw, um, you could choose to accept it, but, you know, they want to fight it out. So props to them for putting on a show for us. Trading leg kick. Chilala's neck is hovering a little, man. I'm a little worried about that. His neck's a little too high. Um, they're both really, really excited. They're like, let's just have a good fight, man. Look at that side kick. So uh, I wonder if we're going to see a difference in Angry Teddy. Because, you know, Angry Teddy how he fought the first three rounds, um, it ended up in a draw, right? So is he going to try something new? Same thing with Chilala, but I think Chilala's stuff is unorthodox enough. The only thing we can do is if he gets more kind of standard in how normal MMA fighters fight. So is Chilala going to fight more standard or is he going to get even more Kung Fu-y? Kung fu <laughs> I'm not a fan of Angry Teddy um, using using his um, straight... His cross to as like the one punch, so to speak. It's not quick enough to be the, the first punch in a sequence, so to speak, or the only punch. So, much more kind of... They've maybe tired themselves out a little bit, or, you know, maybe they're just hurting. Chilala likes to do that too. He likes to throw his straight. Oh, oh no, Chilala. Oh, Chilala ate um, at least one or two punches connected. The 10 second ground time actually is saving him. He would have lost this if there wasn't a 10 second ground time. So, man. Oof. Saved by the 10 second ground rule. We're going to have to see a replay. It might have been a hook that caught him. We'll have to see. So that was the that was the end of the fight. So yeah, this was a solid 10-9 round for our um, Chilala. I'm sorry for Angry Teddy. Angry Teddy. So I just wanna. I'm really curious the punch that grazed him or dazed him. So let's let's see this. So some of Chilala's that was a great side kick. 
and then I think it was here. Kept his face open. Till I keeps his face too open, man. Relying on head movement. He's gonna connect. That was a great leg kick by Tilala, but I think if you if your hands are too low, eventually he's gonna be able to land a hook on you or something. So let's see. I think this is it. This is it. So he Ochilala overextends this right there. So right there, it was a hook. I was right. It was a hook. It was a hook, and another. It was a straight. Okay, so the the hook dazed him a little, and the straight knocked him down. And Tilala's credit, he was still resisting on the ground, but. So again, um, some Chinese lesson for all of you. By the way, going to the dojo, I'll teach you guys these terms. Tai shi ping zhou. That was um, a Thai elbow. Tai shi fei xi. A Thai flying knee. Uh, yeah, I'll teach you all these terms um, on the dojo. So go follow that. So this is um, Victor. Victor's league. That was him, Victor. Victor's really big, man. I wouldn't mess with him. All right. So, I think we all know who won this. It's going to be Angry Teddy. But, Chilala put up a really good fight, man. Really good fight by Chilala. Yeah, so, unanimous decision after the majority tie or majority draw. So, good job. Good job, both of them. Chilala really put on a kung fu show. So, this was awesome. Chilala really representing kung fu. So, congrats, Angry Teddy. And if you do retire... Um, this was a good little swan song fight. Or, I don't know, um, good retirement fight. I don't know if swan song's the right word. Anyways, guys, big shout out to Victor. Victor, and big shout out to Silala for letting us know about this promotion and getting us to cover this. So, credit goes to him and Victor for being cool, putting on this awesome promotion, and letting us commentate the footage. This was Fight Commentary Breakdowns. Go watch for interviews, awards, entrances, etc. All right, fight commentary breakdowns. Fight commentary breakdowns. <laughs>